Hello guys, welcome back to another Let's Build. Today we are going to be working on the actual farms for... And there's my phone. <laughs> uh, the actual farms for Winter Sword. So you see me just configuring my brush to a uh, thick mud um, uh, block. I thought I would have a little bit of a break uh, of... Um, went aside so this is what I'm doing um, you see me just replacing all the grass in um, the field the f I'm adding the, a farm because well you see finishing off the farm because I already have one field over there but um, I'm adding in a farm because that's one thing that's kind of upset me with uh, the Lord of the Rings because I have this massive city of a uh, uh, minister for Stirith and no form of food source so you see me with the laying tool uh, layering the thick mud it does get really annoying because I have all these grass textures and flower textures so I spend a good time just breaking all these and uh, filling in up all the gaps where um, there's actual leaves uh, for the bushes. You see I've got a glowstone and signs about that's actually where I'm going to put some birch trees. Uh, the only problem is I don't know how to build trees. <laughs> not um, using conquest, uh, not conquest. Yes, conquest mod. Um, I can build detailed normal trees, just not through the mod. So um, even though there's a massive tree in front of Winter's Hold, uh, I didn't make that. Um, Digging Nebs from what server is it? From the ah, completely forgot his server. From Darwin Reforge server did it for me you know, back when this was so uh, when um, um, the world was still on the server because there was two copies, my copy and his copy. He asked me to import this uh, actual build in onto the server a long time ago. Uh, you see me just replacing all the regular dirt where I've trimmed some of the bushes down. Just adding a better curve. It does take a while to do this little bit of landscaping. This is why I don't do all of it over time. Uh, I missed a big chunk in this field and I'm going to miss it all and do it off camera. Um, Obviously, I won't do it for every field, but yeah, I would try to. I find it really boring, if I'll be honest. Constantly just going through terraforming, and the grass doesn't help. Uh, the grass chunks. I actually, I don't actually have all the IDs for the grass, so that's why I manually. <laughs> Digging out each one by hand. If you can hear a slight uh, fan noise, I do have my fan on. Plus, still no echo, uh, still the problem with the echo. Hopefully, uh, I get some form of a sound dampening material on the walls soon. See me just flying around quickly trying to break all the blocks this is sped up by uh, 300% so yeah it's quite a lot obviously modifying some of the terrain ah. Walking around very quickly, trying to make sure it's all done and sorted. I've 
got a feeling my dog's gonna start barking any second now. <laughs> Even though my door's closed, you still can hear them bark, especially the German Shepherd. And this is only one section of one field. I got the rest of the field just behind me to do. Just checking how I liked it. And going back here. Here we go, all this work. It's great fun. Ah. This was the longest thing to do, if I'll be honest. Because individually um, placing these layering blocks is a pain. I would love um, a way that they do the smooth, smooth tool for it. Because it will save so much hassle. I have to do it for the roads outside of Winter's Hold as well. Uh, just looking for some crops to place down. I've I've got some corn crops, some barley, uh, some cabbages, and uh, some parsnips. Just uh, deciding how I want to do these. I did originally go for a two block tool, but I do change it to obviously three blocks. And I thought, hang on, there's a faster way to do this. And I get some orange wool, and I started to use the orange wool as a mask for now, and I will replace it afterwards. And then I got really clever and decided to go, hang on, I could use a world edit. <laughs> so you will see me in a minute go, oh, wait, world edit. And obviously I needed to finish off this very tedious chore. It is a chore, if I'll be honest. Oh, placing all these blocks. And I didn't want it to look too flat, so that's why I'm rem random mounting it a lot. Rushing round as you do. That's why I also break quite a few of these because of um, for being on all on one same level basis and uh, in the end I just thought to myself oh well it looks fine just leave them on one level and some of them put them out of them I don't I should have really done this for this field I only did it ever so slightly but at the, at the time, it I was going through a phase where I found it too much of a pain just to play Minecraft, and there goes a car. Lovely. Um, yeah, to I got started to get bored of Minecraft, so just finishing off this corner, and then I'm going to start on the next side. Randomating the train once again. And here's the world edit. Hey, I got the tools, so why can't I be lazy? <laughs> now, it's quite bad. It just, I should have started it with it, but obviously, I didn't want to, to make this video very boring and tedious for you guys. Ah. With the introduction of this farm, I need a uh, small little village outside. But I'm not sure of a name, so if you have any ideas, please uh, comment it. Uh, even tweet it at uh, tweet me at 
my hobgoblin. I'll have a look at the name and see which one I like. Obviously I'm just adding some more columns here. I just thought uh fit as much uh, crop as I can. Enough corn. So yeah, in front of Winter's Howard there's gonna be a massive bit of farmland with a small village. It's where most of the people will live. Inside the city walls it will be more like the uh, I won't say richer but more um you know more um wealthy people would be. You just see me is just changing it over. Seeing how it looks. Now I'm just uh, running around finishing this side. I think I might actually cut this out, so one second. Okay, that's better after, you know, just filling this. Time to actually do the crops. Just quite, oh, you see me mix up my uh, actual blocks I needed. <laughs> Ah, oh, the joys. Oh. Because of it's all higgly piggly, I just simply uh, changed how I was going to place these blocks. You know, just to add some more detail so it's not all straight. Now, around this tree, I decided to do something a little bit more different and just removing that butterfly. I'm gonna try to uh, make the corn look like it's going around it, like how I uh, have done in the field just before, if you manage to see that or not. Uh, I, because obviously the corn is gonna be um, quite tall, three blocks tall and it's going to be uh, interfering with the actual tree itself so that's why I've decided to do it but you see it's a little bit off center and I uh, I just cut it down a little shaved it you know just uh, add some detail going back around and uh, yeah just doing these single blocks and three block tall pillars around the actual farm itself and patiently just setting everything to orange wall It does take time, but oh well. I guess uh, you, we have to do what you have to do. Now, the fun part, actual inside. You see, I've already started there, but now I have to try to plan it out as much as I can. And I do notice that um, one side of this uh, field is not actually on the same um, level, so the actual corn lines, so that did a bug me, <laughs> but I can't really change it without changing everything. I want to create this like pathway through it. So you see me just adding all of these blocks in. Oh, I accidentally changed everything, but oh well. Still got managed to 
get it all done. And here's where I've started to make a few hiccups in the way of doing it. Now, just trying to make it more of a curve, you know, just wanted to seem natural as a farm would be. And you see I didn't put a uh, pathway to the tree, but kind of already is with a uh, slope. Changing everything to corn and just looking around, see how I liked it. Yeah, kind of like it. Walk back through it. Now. Adding some uh, cow dung or animal dung patches, cow pats, also known as. Just randomating them. Just thinking, what shall I add next? Now, back to this slight area where. I thought, oh no, I have to do everything all again. And this is why I decided to do it off camera, just before the next episode. Just uh, in this field, it's gonna be, uh, I think it's parsnip, 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 is it parsnip? Um, the purple uh, vegetable. I can't remember if it's parsnip or swede. Ah, oh, I hate it when uh, my memory goes blank. But um, yeah, I decided to do that and thought, hang on, I should have laid it. And I thought, nah, I'm gonna do it in the off camera. <laughs> Quite literally there. Um, but you see, I have not designated actual path food like the rest and my reasons being is because of it's been such a such a it's a ground crop it doesn't grow above ground but hang on I should leave it as um, because you can easily walk over it and this will be easier and you see me getting my orange ball technique again because I'm lazy it's no harm being lazy, if I'm honest. But oh well. And just running back and forth as you do. I'm thinking, ah, oh, why so many blocks? This took me just an hour just to um, add order orange blocks in so yes <laughs> it's it's a pain but it's a lot faster than manually placing blocks here and there doing it all in one swoop was easier and that's a dog from outside not one of mine so Running back and forth as you do. Always run back and forth. Haven't you noticed this? Uh, it, yeah, it's. I'm not the best. <laughs> if something seems to be boring to me, I have to find a quicker way to do it because it does end up being a chore. And that's how you get uh, bored of playing video games. You see me uh, not um, with the entrance, I've wanted it so it's got a slight curve, so it doesn't look too straight. Straight onto the uh, actual road. And we're gonna add, in the next episode, a few blocks 
so it's leading into the field so running around as usual back and forth with all of these blocks and I did actually mess up some of the uh, item IDs uh, just by <laughs> um, mistyping a uh, number I, I made it order orange wall go invisible instead of putting down parsnips you're probably sick of me running back and forth now probably got a headache And yeah, uh, next time I'm just going to edit in a result, I think. <laughs> uh, I don't find this very entertaining. <laughs> Wasn't entertaining putting it in, but oh well. You see how much you had to go through, I guess. There you go. Now... Getting the item ID, and I accidentally put in a four instead of a two in. I was like, "What have I done?" And everything's turned invisible. And I was like, "What?" That's what I've done, and obviously, I fixed my error. Oh, there's a fox. Okay, that's better. No more foxes going in the background. <laughs> so now I'm just configuring some holes. The actual tall holes. Um, this is so I can start planning out the rest of the farms, the fields. With my special uh, bush configuration tool. Now, um, I do change some of it in a bit to make it quicker. Obviously, I will flesh them out properly in the future. Just, uh, I wanted to basically put the first layer down the rough outline of what the actual fields would be like. I think I've added four more fields, four or, s four or five more fields, I'm not sure. I can't remember since this morning, this is actually 10 to 12 at night, does have to work. Um, it is a voiceover, so this is probably why I don't, <laughs> don't remember a lot. Uh, No. Just you know, fixing here and there, making sure I've got everything that I want in place. Now adding another field. Uh, I didn't want these fields to look too similar. That's why or um, too blocky as well. I want them to be different shapes, sizes. So I think on this side as well. I've been toying with the idea of adding some in front of the castle walls, but I don't really think that's gonna, you know, be the best thing to do. But as as there's always a chance that I might do it in the future if I really wanted to and I get myself trapped inside the actual bush ah. I've done that because I mapped it to air so yeah we're gonna have a lot of food for this uh, for this city which is a good thing if we can use it to sell for trade. So 
always good to trade with your fellow towns and cities. It's so like this one, it's all curvy, but it's now. Yeah. That's it. That's the field plotting done. Just finishing off in the finishing touches, that's all. And where I am standing now is where it's going to be the time. So please like, subscribe, share with your friends. And um, please, if you have any ideas of what the name of the actual town would be, please also comment that or send it to me at iHubGoblin on Twitter. Goodbye, guys.